Hello and welcome back to my office. Welcome back if you're a regular here. If you're new to this channel, my name is Nick. I am a reseller. I buy stuff and I sell it on the internet, hopefully to make some profit. That's how I earn a living. And on this channel, we just share all of the aspects about how we go about doing that. So today, if I pan up a bit, I have been setting up this Thomas train set and this pack of extras up here. Um, but the, the unit that should be here has an issue. So I'm gonna see if I can repair it. Uh, it's got a little turntable that should reset. I'll show you in a second. And it's not resetting. And it kind of ruins the whole, this is an automated thing. So Thomas goes around and Terence goes around in here and they pass, they pass logs from each other from one to another and it, it all automates. But if this little spinning platform doesn't reset, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna take that apart. Hopefully it just needs some lubrication in there and we'll be able to fix that and get it listed. So what should happen is, Terence comes up here, um, this is activated and he picks up a log and then this turns, well I'll show you, let me turn him on. So he comes in, that happens, he shoots off, that should reset itself. The other one, the other orange part on the, uh, on the kit works and once he's gone, this then does that. But it sticks, it sticks at that point, see, so something is sticking and not, an allow, not allowing it to go all the way back. So, take that off. It seems to be functioning, but like I say, it's sticky. Right, let's take this off, see what happens. There we go. Right, so this part here, this has the spring on it. So that, that is what pulls it back by the look of it. It's very dusty. I'm gonna give it a little squirt with WD. Okay, I can take this bit apart further if I need to. Okay, let's have a go. Let's put it back together. Let's hope we can put it back together. There we go. Right, I shouldn't need to screw it up. <laughs> screw it up. I've probably screwed it up already. Right. He's really running out of juice now. Didn't go back. like this doesn't have enough power to pull it back. This forces it round so it loads the tension on that spring and then once this leaves the platform the tension now in this spring should pull it back. So perhaps I need to get in there and see if there's but that feels like it's got plenty of spring in it. Let's have a look. Oh, there's, a, there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws to get in here. Okay, so here's the spring. So that's causing the the pull back so that winds 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 and then releases so that's all functioning right i can't see that anything 
is wrong there. And interestingly, I, I took all of these out. There is an, an arrow on this one, which I'm assuming told the people that put this together where to line that notch up. So how far that cog is turned. And I'm not sure if that was out of sync. So if we put that one back in, let's just check that. So goes all the way to there and resets. Okay, so that should, I can't see any reason now why that's not working. So if we put this back together, fingers crossed, we might get a different result. Okay, we'll have another go. Nope. See, it wants to go, it wants to go. Just doesn't have the oomph. So maybe the spring that's in there just isn't powerful enough. I don't know what else to try, really. I don't have, you know, a a handy selection of springs to try a new spring in there to give it more tension. It's annoying because this set does not function without that reset on that turntable. This is all ready to go to take pictures. What I might do right now is just set it up, take the pictures and then see if I can carry on figuring out a way to repair that. Um, because I don't want to put all of this away whilst I've got it all set up. I might as well do the pictures, carry on trying to figure this out. Once I get it worked out, I can then list it. So frustrating, because it's resetting. It just doesn't have enough power to, to pull this back into position. Okay, I just had a thought and I've just opened it all up again. So... As I just said, I don't have a spare spring to add one with more with more tension uh, or power in here. But there were two places where you could screw this screw. So I put it further away. So that is under, it's stretched further. So now when we do that, the spring is pulled that bit further. So it should have more power. We'll try that. Beyond that, I'm not sure what else I can do. Okay, so that is tensioning and springing back. But importantly, does it have enough power to pull this back and reset it? Let's find out. No. <laughs> Not even close. See, it starts to go. It just doesn't have the power. Ah, so annoying. Ah, uh, it's, it's so close and so annoying. I want to move on and do other stuff, but I just, oh, uh, not sure there's anything else I can try, to be honest. I mean, I do have another turntable on this one, which does exactly the same thing. I could take a look at that one, but I'm not sure what's that, what that's gonna tell me. It's a while later. And I've now taken apart the other piece with the other turntable. Different mechanism on this one. Same size spring. That doesn't really help at all. But that one has more than ample power. 
Okay, I've, I've just had the actual revolving platform apart to see if there's anything getting caught in the mechanism of that. It would make it too stiff to reset. Um, but no, nothing. I, I, I'm going to have to admit defeat and I really don't like doing that. Um, normally at this point I'd pop round to my dad's. He's got nuts, bolts, screws, springs and everything in his shed. He's got a, like an Aladdin's cave of stuff. So it may be that he's got a spring with much more power to be able to just pull it back, to force it back. But as it is, I have not got a working turntable. Um, I will set all of this up and get the pictures done, uh, as I said. But for now, yeah, frustrated, really frustrated. But that's the way it goes sometimes, dealing with secondhand stuff. Sometimes it just doesn't work and you have to deal with it. Worst case scenario, if I can't fix this, um, I will sell it as is and explain that that turntable is not resetting and it will need repair. I will still sell the item, but I would much rather sell it as a fully working thing. But anyway, I will leave you there. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this, I made another video a while back where I repaired um, an old vintage bagatelle board. I will link it here. Um, please check that one out. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy that one. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.